Hello, it's April and it's time for our second uh, £10 and under mystery banquet or whatever we decided to call it this time. Yeah. So my wife Julie has gone out and bought us some weird stuff and we're going to eat it. And hopefully it'll be nice and there won't be any horrible mouldy cheese covered sausages like last time. It wasn't covered in cheese, the cheese was inside. It was both. It was nasty. <laughs> like a zombie portion. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so what do we get this time? Yeah, go on, knock the table over. Yeah, we'll do. Okay, Ooh, what's that? Never is that. It's fluffy. I mean, it's asbestos. Oh, it, God, it really does. <laughs> it's like yeah, loft insulation, doesn't it? Yeah. Tree. It's like candy, it candy floss. That really does look... I'm, I'm sure you're not supposed to eat this stuff. <laughs> <laughs> and I just tie it in half and there were two. You found it. mind. Oh, you definitely found this in the loft, didn't you? <laughs> yeah, I took it out of the loft. <laughs> Did it come with a comb? <laughs> no, it came with a sheep. How many Muppets died to make this? <laughs> right. I was going to say it looks like you shaved my hamster. Ooh, smell it. Yeah. It smells like super strong bubblegum. Mm. Ready? Yeah. Is it bubblegum? Yes, it is bubblegum. Okay. Oh, that's so weird. It's like the consistency of um, candy floss. Mm. What do Americans call cotton candy, isn't it? They call yeah. Hmm. Hmm. It just sort of disappears into the yeah. nothing. But you have to eat a lot of it to for it to well not disappear. Hmm. That's weird. I don't know if it's nice or not. It's just sort of there. It tastes like cheap bubblegum. But it's a texture. It messes with your head. You really think because it's like candy floss, it should just dissolve and then it... Yeah. It sort of turns into some gravelly paste. <laughs> hmm. Does actually... Is it bubblegum or chewing gum? It is bubblegum. Oh, it's chupa chups. It should be better than that then. There we go. Chupa chups. Cotton bubblegum. Mm. Tutti fruity flavour. No. no. It's just normal bubblegum flavour. Yeah. I don't, I don't mind it. I'm wondering if I can do a bubble. Mm -hmm. I've only got half it. Try using the other half. Yeah. Mm -mm. First it's cotton candy, then it's bubblegum. Well, that is exactly what it did, so hang on. Yeah, no. Hmm. It's all right. Hey, bubble! <laughs> Stevie did a bubble. Yeah. Yeah. Out of five. Three. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> yeah. I give it a three as well. Yeah. I wouldn't buy it, but it's interesting. Oh, I'm glad I've tried it. Would you buy it then? How much was it? Do you remember? I think it was £1.25. No, I wouldn't buy it for £1.25. Mm. But that's my answer. But then my recent consequences of eating chewing gum when my tooth fell out. Mm. <laughs> it's The flavour stays there for quite a while, which is good. Like a bad smell. Yeah. Mm. There's a lot of bubble gum. It? A lot of, which is the one that's got the, like, the soft filling inside, like a gooey filling. Is it bazooka? Possibly. You tend to bite into those and then the flavour disappears straight away. I used to always have hubba bubba. Mm. Oh, the flavour of hubba bubba used to stay. Mm. Yeah, that was good stuff. But you did have to eat half a packet for you. Yeah, I, used to to, I used to see how many packets I could eat at once. The flavour's completely gone now. Mm. I'm still trying to taste it, but mm. that's alright. Well, I don't dislike it at all. Yeah, free. 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 I agree. Free. You're not trying that, Julie? No. No? Mm. Right. These are for you guys. Right, we're staying with bubblegum. Ooh, more bubblegum. Oh, these are interesting, aren't they? Yeah. That's like a burger. Yeah. Is that vaguely in frame? Hang on. You do it. All right, so bubblegum burgers. Interesting. You didn't find these in Logan's toy box, did you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, they've got creamy stuff in a mill. Oh, that's weird. Yeah. What is that? Oh, I can't place it. No, that's it's a weird sharp taste. and slightly that unpleasant. Is a weird taste. I don't like that. 
Let's see what it is. Oh, I have no idea what flavour it is. <laughs> wow. Ketchup. <laughs> well, it's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. Ketchup like liquid filled. Hmm. That tastes like ketchup to you? No. I wouldn't wouldn't have thought that that's was horrible. Meant to be ketchup. That is though. really unpleasant. Yeah. Out of five? Because it surprised me, I'm going to give it a two. But only because it's mad. I don't dislike that at all. I'm going to give it a, I'm going to give it a three. Okay. Well, I got that from the um, old fashioned sweet shop in the high street called 10p. 10p. Oh, See, I, is that the one near, um, sort of opposite Halfords? Yes. Yeah. See, I went in there. I couldn't really find anything out of the ordinary, but oh, I'm quite impressed with that. What have we got here? They look like <laughs> clinkers. <laughs> Looks like you have a big rabbit. Yeah. <laughs> it reminds me of a shrunken head for some reason. It's like a pear. It's a pear shaped well, thing. We're staying with bubblegum here. It smells of nothing. It's very sticky. Mm. Oop. And it's time oh, to get away. Oh, that's bitter. Ooh. Oh, it's got stomach in the middle. Yeah. <laughs> Out. Ah, do you bust your head? <laughs> Saves you right. It's giving us muck to eat. Sort of, <laughs> make my ears laugh. That is vinegary. <laughs> yeah, that is atrocious. Mm. What on earth is that? Caramel. Caramel. <laughs> I've seen them. <laughs> Whoa! What was in the middle then? Liquid filled, extra sour. Oh no! Was that from the same shop? Yeah. Mm. Oh. Is that the end of the bubble gum? No, one more. I'm running out of... Have we got a tissue then? Pass me a tissue. They're not as bad as they should be. They're still pretty awful. Some I'm... of those ketchup ones as well. They're... Uh, I'm, I'm giving them a... I'll give them a two again, same reason, because yeah. they're interesting, but I definitely would not eat them again. Yeah. I'd eat the ketchup ones again, but they're not as good. Oh, they look those cool. Two. two? Two on those. Melons! Yeah. That's I reckon these are going to be awesome. I bet they've got something disgusting in the middle of them. Yeah. They're going to lull us in with, our, with their melony looking goodness. Yeah. And then they're going to taste like vinegar inside or something. Ooh. Crunchy. And Interesting then, texture. Yeah. Is that a melon flavour? Bleak now. It's pretty unpleasant, whatever it is. It's supposed to be watermelon. It tastes like a. I don't know. If you stuck your mouth over a pipe from a <laughs> chemical plant leading into a stream, it probably tastes like this. No. Because melons are a subtle taste and they kind of amped it up and made yeah. it taste disgusting. Mm. Mm, I can only give that a one. Yeah. yeah. And that's the presentation. It doesn't yeah. look like a melon. It's all very thinny, mm. by the way. Fizzy? You get fizzy from that? Yeah. Hmm. I really think that was fizzy. No problem. Spain. Yeah. Yes. I'll give it a one. What are you giving it? I'm going to give it over two and a half. Hmm? I like it was a bit better than the camel balls. So. <laughs> but not as much as the uh, ketchup ones. I, think I like the ketchup ones. I really didn't. I think the camel balls should have been hairy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they were sticky. They were mm. sticky. I wonder how they did the research of what the inside of a camel ball tastes yeah. like. <laughs> the camel must have been a bit surprised. Yeah, I wouldn't yeah. want to be the researcher on those. No. Well, Steve's obviously enjoyed it. We're still eating it. Mm. Yeah. Okay, well, just have a couple of stones to eat them. <laughs> wow, she's just been down the beach. Oh, look at these stones. Stone. Yeah. Do it then. I don't know. Are these edible? She's going to break our teeth and laugh at us. I've just been down the beach and got some stones. They actually really do look like stones. That's amazing. Look at the eggs. Prehistoric eggs. Right, here we go. Jesus! Oh, oh, there we go. Ow! What a gap between my teeth. Ow, 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 ow. Are these bubblegum as well, or? I don't think no, so. No, it tastes like bad chocolate. 
think this is what happens if you leave mini eggs for about three years. Mm. And then prehistoric mini eggs. Mm. Yeah, I think the egg cover has been prehistoric. I'm having trouble getting rid of this. Yeah. It tastes like gravel with bad chocolate. I got a really hard bit. Sure, you haven't lost a bit of tooth. Mm. Mad. They came from that sweet shop as well. They're foul. Yeah. In fact, they remind me of that old, before there was proper diabetic chocolate, there was that carob stuff. Tastes like that. Awful. It's probably why they were reduced to a pound then. Oh, <laughs> that was a pound too much, I think. Yeah. I'm giving them a pound because they look good. <laughs> a pound? A point. <laughs> Yeah. Well, they do One look, out of five. They do really. They look like stones. Mm. Mm. So. Yeah. Do you have a bag for those? Or? Uh, it's one of their bags, so it hasn't oh, got like anything on Oh, right. They're just in a jar, where they in the shop? They're in packets. Oh, right. They're their own packets with their own stickers on. Okay. Right. Yeah. Well, I give it one, or do you give it uh, 0.5? Mm. Generous, I have I think. something fun. Yay! Ooh. Eggies! Oh, my egg's got a dent in it. Yeah, so yeah. is mine. They've all got dents. Oh, okay then. Yeah. Let's see. Rattly eggs. Oh! Oh, that's interesting. Smarties! Oh, yeah, there we go, look. Egg full of Smarties. Yeah. I suspect that, as there's a bit of chocolate rattling around in there, that it had a cap some sort. There, there we go. I don't think that's supposed yeah. to come loose. Yeah, I've got them as well. So, oh, the chocolate itself. Let's see. Hmm, it's all right. It's the cheaper end, but it's it's okay. Not bad. So hmm. try these smarty things. Yeah, I'm gonna all of that. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, <yeah. laughs> These smarties look kind of anemic. Mm. So, like, we haven't got enough colour in them. Oh. Well, yeah, they're all right. I'm going to give it a three. Ah. So, oh. what are they? Where did they come from? Hang on, let's see if score first. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I'm trying to look things. Apparently. Yeah, I like them a lot. I'll give them a four. Mm. Generosity. Yeah. I'm disappointed you thought the chocolate wasn't so good as it was the same make as those other really cool eggs ah, you had. Ah, Favorina, is it? Favorini. Favorina. Funny eggs. <laughs> funny. Funny about them. But... I don't know. Mm. Funny if they weren't eggs. Yeah. I think they came out of a comedian. Maybe they did. Yeah. Comedian or a chameleon? Yeah. A, ch a chameleon comedian. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. That's a winner. I'll keep that bit. Yes. Have that later. Something huh? a bit different. <laughs> what on earth is that? <laughs> Are you, this is food, isn't it? Yes, it's food. I already found this on the road. It, that, look at that. It's got scales on it. Was this once an animal? I think it's a flower. Was this once alive? <laughs> no. Looking at that, it makes it look like a flower. It's very sweet that smell side. to it. Is it some sort of dried fruit? Yeah. Okay. I uh, know Colin likes fruit. Okay, so I'm only having a little bit just to be safe. That's just awful. Really? Mm. Like it. I wonder if maybe it might be because I've just had something very sweet, but that. Yeah, I think that's. It doesn't taste of anything very much. Hang filled on. in quite a lot of the taste. Let's try a bit more. Yeah. It... I'm trying to figure out what it is. Maybe mango? Yeah. It is. It's dried, dried mango. Dried okay. mango. Here we go. Well, 
I'm not a massive fan of dried fruit because it always tastes like a waste product, kind of. Mm. I should I, I should like that a lot because I love mangoes, but yeah, I, don't, I, do as well. I don't like it. Yeah. Right, one. I'm gonna give it a one and a half. It's just a lot of nothing, isn't it? Yeah. So, so you think it sounds good, yeah, but then there's absolutely nothing to it. Yeah, so, I don't dislike it generally, but it's interesting. I'll probably eat it because it's there. Yeah, say so it's thrown it away, but uh, mm -hmm. she's smiling, so she's got something weird. Oh dear, are those peas? <laughs> these look. I bet these are wasabi again. I hope so. More frog balls, same as last time. How many have been one just to make sure? Nah! Hey. Yep. <laughs> yeah, it definitely is. But I don't think they're peas. Yes. Oh no! <laughs> yes. It's <laughs> like <food -like> <laughs> I do. <laughs> Wasabi peas from Asda. Well, they are yeah. peas. They're all dry and crunchy. I like them a lot. Ah, super hot and weird. And... This dude's just going to eat the whole lot. I can mm. have them. I don't want them. Thank you. Right. <laughs> I'm, go I'm going to give him a... I'm giving him a nothing. nothing. Nothing at all. Five! <laughs> You've skewed our average. Yeah. Okay. Just check after our recent technical difficulties. Is the camera still working? Yes, it is. Good. Thank then let's know. carry on. Ready? It's got to be better than those. Oh, no, rabbit droppings. <laughs> I had a glimpse, I thought they were coffee beans. But... They do look like coffee beans. Yeah. Little seeds of some kind. You see that? Move my hand. Yeah. You definitely found these in the field, didn't you? <laughs> Say it, Steve. Let's be brave. Get a lot like that. How many have you got? How many? I've got about seven in my mouth. Got loads. Hmm. Is that chocolate? Dark chocolate? Yeah. There's something afraid, weird in the I middle. I tried these before you guys did. And I was disappointed because I don't like dark chocolate very much. Oh, very, very bitter chocolate. Too bitter for me. But I don't know what's in the middle. No. Whatever it is, you can't taste it because the chocolate's so strong. Yeah. Maybe sesame seed or something? Yeah, there's some sort of seed in the middle, I'm sure. Yeah. Am I right? There's the packet. Sunflower seeds, yeah. Sunflower seeds coated yeah, in dark can, chocolate. I can get that. Maybe. From yeah. Redanus. No, Eridanus. Mm. So I probably said that wrong. Greek? There we go. Is it, was it Greek or something? Yeah, Greek. Is it? Okay. It's Greek produced in Germany. Yeah, okay. Again, there's all these things. They exist, but I'm not sure they need to. Yeah. Well, they're okay. Yeah. I'll eat them if they're there. I but... would. Yeah. I'll give those a four. Mm. I'm going to give them three and a half. Just possibly a tiny bit too bitter for my taste. Mm. But, uh, tiny bit not, not bitter for you? Yeah. Ooh, I, like I was kind of hoping they were coffee beans inside because I love chocolate coffee beans. I'm quite a big fan of dark chocolate. Dog biscuits. Anyway. Oh my god. <laughs> Those are definitely dog biscuits. I think oh, with marabone jelly. There no, we go. There. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, I'm going to rest those stones by the way. Ah. Okay. Oh, they smell good. Look at the size of this big one. Yeah, I would have broken my teeth on those. I would have broken my jaw on that. <laughs> They're awful. <laughs> well, I'm reckoning that it's, the biscuit stuff's going to be a lot like fig rolls. and it's going That's to be what I was trying to think of, fig rolls. Apricot jelly type stuff. Mm. But it definitely looks like a dog biscuit. So. Mm. Yeah, you're alright. It's okay. I don't think well, I, can, I, I couldn't eat many of them. No. Did you mm. say apricot? What did you say? I don't know. I had something else in mind. Probably sort of strawberry or something like that. It's probably just an insect. Yeah. yeah. They're okay. They're a bit dry, yeah. aren't they? Mm. They're quite interesting, but I wouldn't, wouldn't buy them. We're not doing that well. We've not found anything we love except you and your well, yeah. disgusting bees. I'm going to give them a two, because they're a bit too bland. What are they? Yeah, two. Two? Yeah, I'll agree with that. Okay. Don't dislike them, I just couldn't eat many of them. No. They're fruit rolls with figs and raisins. Oh, that's weird, because I love figs. 
It's from the same people oh, as like the um, yeah. sesame seeds. Yeah. No. It's in chocolate. There's sunflower seeds in chocolate. Mm. So where did you find these? Lidl's. They do some mm. interesting stuff. They do. They? I thought yeah, they would be nice. Do. I thought they'd be really yeah. good. Being like figs and raisins, but they're not. No. Copper fig rolls, I prefer. But there you go. Anyway. Mm. How are we doing? Well, it's still going. All right. So try not to get this one everywhere. Okay. Ooh, it's cocaine. <laughs> <laughs> I better but not be what I think cocaine. it is. I have got a feeling that that is Turkish Delight. And I hate Turkish Delight. I food, love Turkish Delight. Food shouldn't taste like flowers. Mm. It tastes like flowers because it's made from rose petals. Which aren't a food. Okay. Is it pre-cut? Made from Turkish yes, people. It tastes better if it was. Oh no. It's all gelatinous. Mmm. Yeah. yeah, I think I'd prefer cocaine. <laughs> Go on and get yourself a piece. I'm going to roll a tenner up. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Oh, it's getting all on my table. Yeah. I didn't tell you. Don't need to be hosed down after I eat this. Yeah, that's just muck. That's just chewy, horrible. Well, that's harder to chew than those stones. Yeah. My God. Like, you look at that. Think of Mythbusters. Looks like ballistic gel. <laughs> yeah. I reckon that's what they use. It probably is ballistic gel. Maybe she's fooled us and this, this isn't food. No. No. It's well, not it's not as disgusting as a lot of Turkish Delight I've had, and I'm assuming that's what it is. No, it's not Turkish Delight. Are you sure this is not bubblegum as well? <laughs> <laughs> well, it's not jelly -ish. It's not... It's got a little bit of that kind of... Flower type smell to it. Smell, taste, same thing. But I can't. I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to give it a a two because it's not really anything mm. except stuck to me. <laughs> and now all over the table. Like one from me. Yeah. Meh. It was oh, Greek again. delight sweet jelly cubes. Mm. Apparently. What delight. flavour was it supposed to be? It tastes of anything. It's just all odd. I don't think it has a particular Doesn't. Flavor. Sugar, water, glucose syrup, maize, starch, acid, citric acid, and flavouring. Well, what flavouring? Mm. That's just nothing. It looks like it came from Lush. It does. Throw it in the bath now. Yeah. I don't long it would take to dissolve. Mm. That's just pointless. It's probably dissolving us as we speak. Mm. I'm not going to grease. No. I just eat food that doesn't taste of anything. Yeah. As I eat a tablecloth. Yeah. And two more left. Two more? Right, here we go. Oh, chocolate thing! Hey. Chocolate thing! Uh, what does it say on it? Wow. Wow, well. Wow, well. It's got what looks like caramel in it. I have high hopes of this. I'm hoping you better not hope it's wasabi chocolate again. Hmm. <laughs> oh, that's good. Hmm. That's interesting. That. Reminds me of caramel barrels. That's got a slight alcoholic taste to it. Mm -hmm. Rum? Is it not rum and raisin or something like that? Is it all rum? What it say? There's two very similar ones, so try that one. Okay. Hmm. That, one. okay. that I like a lot. I like that a lot as well. Did you get any more of that? No, but you do get no. it from Tesco. In the Polish section. It's like slightly less sweet caramel bar kind of thing. Mm. Can I think of that one? That's very, very nice. Hmm. That's sweeter. I reckon the first one was salted and this one isn't. Oh, it's got a weird super sweet aftertaste on this one. Hmm. Hmm. Oh no! That's no, good. that's got that's got liquor in it. That's oh what, yeah, that hits you quite it, a way after, doesn't it? Yeah. 
again, I like that. Not as much as I, I like the first one a lot. This one, this one's not bad. No. Well, but you feel like you've been donkey punched. Yeah. <laughs> I'm well, going to give. Five? What, the second one? I'm hoping. The first one, I'm going to give a five. Mm, the second agree. one, I'm going to give a four. Yeah. I agree with that. Yeah? Mm -hmm. That's really strange because the first one had avocado in it, which. Did it? No, sorry. The first, yeah, the first one. You sure? <laughs> no, that, you don't The first know. one was that one, the caramel one. The second one had avocado in it. Yeah, That's caramel cool. filled. Krell Cowie Mulligan's new bar. Yeah. <laughs> that way. That's right. It. And then that one. Which we didn't like quite as much. That has got a hell of an aftertaste. Yeah, that's. The second one. My God. When you first said about the alcohol being in the first one, I thought, yeah. have I got them muddled up? But no, yeah. I didn't have them muddled up. Well, I can't one. find a lot of English on here. It says on the side only. There's one little bit. On the side oh, yeah. Massive. Milk chocolate bar of Avocar filling. I don't think it actually is alcoholic. It certainly tastes like it is. So, here we are. Is that the end of it? That's all of it. That's all of it. Okay. Well, what have we learnt? Greek stuff's bland. Yeah. Nothing should be covered in wasabi. Um, no, I would disagree with that. You think everything should be covered in wasabi? Yeah. And you like Polish chocolate bars? I but, do. And I don't like eating stones. I don't like eating stones. Or jelly. Mm. No, the jelly wasn't nice at all. Are you sure those stones aren't just taken from the hospital or somebody's kidney stones that you just forced us to eat? No, I don't think they're not quite good. Price labels don't mean anything. <laughs> <laughs> look, look. look at these. What is to stop you if somebody likes these going and get some real stones and putting them with them? <laughs> if I tried to eat that, I would definitely break my teeth. Should we do the size of that one? Yeah. I think instead of eating these, we might go and skim them a little bit. Bubble gum. Ketchup, bubble gum, ketchup, bubble gum. <laughs> <laughs> so, and also, like, you don't really like eating camel balls. I don't like camel balls. No. Well, I'm a bit disappointed, actually, or today. Bubble gum cloud. Bubble gum cloud. That was quite interesting. Yeah. It definitely does look alarmingly like loft insulation. Yeah. But that's it. That's yeah. it for another month. So, really, or... Lindsay will have to go off and find us some more weird muck to eat. Wasabi peas. Don't eat wasabi peas. In fact, eat all of them and then tell me tomorrow how your morning was. Mm. <laughs> so. Put the whole lot in your mouth in one go. Yeah. I think I'd better have a very eventful night, I think. Why? <laughs> <laughs> all right, then. Let's wrap this up. Okay, so that's it for another month. We're going to be doing our weekly thing, which is through the face hole, where we're doing just a few sort of American sweets at the moment. But we're going to move on to other stuff later. And this is our mystery thing where we have no say. So that's once a month, in theory. Yeah. <laughs> so, as usual, subscribe and like if you like. And goodbye from all of us. Russell Crate oh. coming soon. Oh, yeah, Russell Crate. Yeah. Yep. Bye, then. <laughs>